Hi guys, this is Creative Graphics. In this tutorial, I'm going to be designing what is called New Brutalism Design. So this type of design uses a very simple layout, good colors, sharp lines and geometric shape to create a unique look. So this design has been trending since probably 2019 or so, but it's not really popular like that. So I really, I explore these designs. So I'm going to create a profile card with it like profile design so i'm going to use 1080 by 1080 so which is the square size so i'm going to be explore exploring different different uh colors so i'm going to create three artboards but let's have two artboards for now so i'm going to create the last artboard when I'm done. So, but let's work with this artboard first. So, firstly, I'm going to create my background, which is yellow background. F F D two one C. So, this is the background. So, I'm going to create a border here, page border. So, with a shape, pen tool. I'm going to use my pen tool. I'm going to press. I'll press shift so as to get straight line and click again and click something like a slant like this and press shift press shift shift and click shift and click so if you want to have a straight line just press shift all down so I'm going to use red color which is FF0000 so I'm going to increase the line because this design uses bold, bold or sharp lines. So I'm going to use six, which is black. Okay, I think this is fine. So this background, so this background, I'm going to import an element to this background. It's too plain. I'm going to so I downloaded abstract 3D indoor wireframe. Abstract 3D indoor wireframe. So I'm going to use it in my design so on group i'll delete all these elements delete this i don't need it so this was clip mask i'll release the clipping mask delete this shape so i'll fill it with black color so ctrl g to group the two so i will duplicate it ctrl c ctrl v I'll rotate it. I want a full shape. I want a full shape. I want a full shape. This is an indoor wireframe. It looks like indoor. So Control X. I'm going to change the color to full black. So Control X. I'll paste it here. This shape here, Control V, a smart object. So, wait a seconds. The lens will be pasted. Design is done. It's an heavy, heavy shape, so it has to take time. So the design is here. The background is there. So I'll I'll do something like this. So I'll rotate it. I'm rotating it 90 degrees. So I'll bring it like this to the edge. I'll make sure it's filling the edge. So I'll bring it down. Bring it down. Okay. So I'll change the blend mode to soft light. Reduce it to 58. It changes is fine, so I'm going to create another shape again because I'm creating a profile. I'm going to create a shape like this, create a shape like this. Oops. I'm going to fill it with color E B E B E B. So I'm going to duplicate it again. I'm 
bring it down a bit. So this should be white. So white, but this one is E B E B. So I'm going to create a curve at the edge of this image in shape. I'll go to properties. Properties. So I'll uncheck this link. This link I will uncheck it. So I will uncheck this link. So because once you click this link and shape it like this, all the edge will curve. So I want, I want only one side, the top left to curve. So I will shape it like this. 158. So also this I will shape it to 60. Let's go 80. 80. Okay, something like this. So I'll ensure it's at the center. Okay, it's already at the center. So I'll bring this up a little. So I'll bring this up a little. I'll bring this shape out. And this this will be showing. Okay, I think this is fine. So I will import my image. So I'm going to use this image as my profile design so i'm design profile for this image I'm design profile for this image so let me use quick selection tool selection tool or better still select subjects left subjects that is more precise than uh, quick selection tool sometimes they are not really accurate so this this subject selection use artificial intelligence to select the edge of your image so you have to allow it to find the edge of the image itself so you have to take some seconds okay so you mask, you mask it and convert it to smart object. So you reduce the size, so you reduce the size, you reduce the size and check this. So we want to place this in this, in this, uh, in this rectangle and we want the head to pop up, the head of this image to pop up. So you want to clip it, but we want the edge to pop up. So you can just right click, create a clipping mask. Everything is inside the image. We don't want everything to be inside. We want the edge to pop up. So release clipping mask. So what you need to do is you click this, you mask this, you mask it out. So you click this rectangle, you press control and click. Once you press control and click, so you click, you press control and click. So you go back to this and click this mask you click and you go to select inverse so inverse and you click your eraser tools you ensure its hardness is 100 you reduce this and delete any image outside any shape outside so you need is the outside so select deselect so that's how to create a pop-up image a uh, clipping mask so we are going to make this image black and white so i'm going to use to pass lab black and white pass lab black and white i'm going to use gold blue gold blue 2 under tone collection gold blue 2 okay Do too. So this image, this box, I'm going to increase the stroke to six also. So I'm create something like extrude. So if you want to create this extrude, what you need to do is you duplicate his control J and make sure the fill color is black and the stroke is white as is black as well. So you once you duplicate this, press control. J to duplicate, so you 
bring this up we can check this so this on this shape you press ctrl c you want to transform this shape so once you press ctrl c this will show this will pop up so you press arrow key once down down arrow key once and the right once and you mark it so you've transformed that image, uh, shape so you are going to make 14 copies plus the the duplicator one making 15 so you are going to press those key 14 times so each key will be 7 7 so 14 press out and press down right as 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so it's now 14 so you group them into G that's 14 so that's how to create an extrude an extrude check this let's make it 70 70 70 okay for me it's fine so what you need to do now is is let's add a name to this to this person. So let's say this this image I've been using a name which is past uh, George Martins. So let's use font called Charles Gally. I'm using the black font. So the black font. So I'll bring it here like this to this box. This is fine. So I'll create the position. Let's say it's a senior pastor. So I will something like this. 444 code. So I'll make this Montserrat. Montserrat. Extra black bold. Extra bold. So I'll bring it as the position. Okay, this is fine. So I'll add the stroke to it. So the color will be four, 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 four. Same with the position. So play something like this. So I think this is fine. Okay, it's four, four, four this is fine so let's add some shapes let's add some shape add something like this go to a uh, rectangular to custom shapes custom shapes so we are going to need this somewhere around here so let's create another one I'm going to need this. Let me look for another one. I'm going to need this. I'm going to need something like this. Make it black. Make it black. We'll create another shape. I'm creating something like a verified. Those blue tick on Instagram and Facebook, like verified. So I do actually have import shape, but I want to use what is available here on Photoshop. Photoshop. So I'll reduce the size. Reduce the size. Let me check one more.
Gotcha. And this is better. This is this instead of previous one. So I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put this here and reshape it. To ensure it's at the center, use your this two side the center. So we use that trick. I still reduce it more. Do something like that here. Yeah? So this let's make it red. Okay. So let's create a text to parts. So you want to create the text to parts, what you need to do is draw your part. So I'm going to use a rectangle, uh, the circular part and go to text and bring it close to the edge and click. So I'm going to use, I'm going to type something like God's servant. So I'm going to use Chagale Black. This is the color to black. So I'm going to copy it, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. I'm going to increase it. Okay. So I don't need the circle, circular part again. So I'm going to replace it with this. I'm going to replace it. With Okay. I'm going to replace it with this. So I'll make sure these two shapes are at the center. These two shapes so are at the center of this. Okay, I'm going to place this close to this place. Close to this place. Okay. Okay. So let's add something to this side. I'm going to add something like the senior pastor. So I'm going to use a font called Anton. Anton. So this is a condensed font. And turn. So I'm not going to use fill color on this. I'm going to use the stroke. So I'll right click, blend option. So my stroke will be two. The color will be six five six five. So I'm going to remove the fill. So I'll reduce it to zero. This is zero. I'm going to create something on top of the senior pastor. Do something like this. Bring it up. Same faster. So I'll make sure the color is same with the shape behind the image. I'll type probably the name of the church. Let's say Christian. Christian Light Church. Just like my previous flyer. Just a tutorial purpose, not not a real church. Not a real church. I'm going to change this to Libas and increase it. But I'm fine with this. Okay. Design is coming up. I'm going to bring this down a little. Bring this down a little.
Let's bring this down a bit. Okay, this is fine. So let's add something to this. To this place it looks empty. Let's add a, a default text, a dummy text. I'm going to use the jagger again. Make it white. Make it white. So I'm going to reduce the space in between. I'll make it white. I'm going to make it white. Reduce number to four. Let's say four point five. Five. So I'm going to make sure this test is justified. Go to paragraph, move infinite, and something like this. So once you create something like this, you ensure that all the edges are almost the same thing. All the edges are justified. So make sure it's at the center. Make sure. So this can be can tag this maybe the favorite pastor's uh, Bible verse or something like that. So it's just a dummy text. So let's put the head in here. Let's put the head in. New new brutalism. Alizin profile templates. So let's use the font called next one. Show sure is black, not too black. So I make it five and I'm increasing. So I'm making sure it's at the center. Make sure it's at the center. Let me use heavy one. Okay. So this is our final design. So let's let's try and explore explore another color. So let's go to another artboard. Artboard. Ctrl G. Ctrl J. Ctrl J. Ctrl J. Bring it to the artboard. And reduce this. So this Ctrl J. As you press Ctrl J to duplicate it, so you just carry it to the next artboard to appear there. So I'm going to just to change the background of this color to something like F E eight F E. Okay, this is another color another color let's try another color again let's try another color so you can duplicate the artboard ctrl j ctrl j ctrl j ctrl j so you can let's change this to b d a b f d So let's change this background to something like this. C A F nine eight six. 
So these colors, all these colors, I got them from colorhunts.com. Color hunts. So you can get your color, your favorite color combinations from there. Let's change this and this red too. And this red. Change this to this. So these are the three three color explorations I I I did I did during the week. So let me know what you think in the comment section.